Hey everyone, this is Space Dude GFX, and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to uh, make um, this right here, uh, where the spheres kind of fall into this uh, bowl-looking thing. So let's just hop into Cinema 4D, and I'll show you how to do it. Uh, we're just gonna grab a sphere, and we're going to the front view, make it editable by clicking C on the keyboard or that button right there. Get your arrow key, and just uh, make sure on the faces editor. And now uh, get your arrow key and select all the uh, all these. We're just gonna delete the top half, and uh, just delete. Okay, so there we go. And what we're gonna do? Um, we're gonna right click on it. Actually, we're gonna select one of them. We're gonna go to Control A or Command A, so we select all the faces. And we're gonna right click, extrude, and just extrude out to whatever looks right. And we're gonna get a hypernerves and just drag it in there so now uh, we got our bowl modeled and um, we're gonna wanna drop it to the floor so on the Y we're gonna make sure we have this selected on the Y we're gonna go to 100 and just click apply so now it's sitting directly onto the floor and uh, we're gonna do we're gonna get a floor object um, get a new material just make this 100% white and put the brightness down to say 85 drag it onto the floor, right click Cinema 4D Tags, Compositing, and check Compositing Background. And we're going to um, also get a sky and just drag it onto the sky so we have like a seamless floor look here. And um, so now um, we're going to do, I'll actually in my next uh, maybe 150 subs, I'll give out some of my plugins. Like this one, um, it just drops everything to the floor perfectly, it comes really, really useful. Uh, moving on, we're gonna get a emitter and just position it to where you think it would fall in the bowl, which is looks right about here. So uh, we're gonna get a sphere, put the segments down to 10, and the radius down to about there. We're gonna um, drag that into the emitter, and on the emitter settings, we're gonna check show objects, put the birth rate editor to let's go for 30. And then the same for the render 30. And uh, if you play it now, you'll see it just kind of goes out like that. And what we're going to do, we're going to run the sphere and go to simulation, dynamics, create rigid body. And see now they fall down correctly. And the next thing we're going to do is um, we're We're going to go on the floor, and we go to Simulation, uh, Dynamics, and Create Collider. And, um, see now it's not really falling, it's falling to the floor, but not but through the sphere. So, we're going to, the bowl actually, um, we're going to go to the bowl, and we're going to go to Simulation, Dynamics, Create Rigid Body. And, um, on this we're going to click on it, we're going to go to, um, Trigger, at velocity peak and the next thing we're going to do on the inherit no on the shape we're going to go to static mesh so it's able to fall through and actually go into the bowl properly on the timeline we're just going to go to 150 so we can uh, see the whole animation so that looks pretty nice the next thing we're going to do we're just going to make it uh, look like I did in the tutorial not the tutorial the preview so we're just going to go uh, on the emitter and we're going to hold control and on the sphere we're just going to drag down 
maybe three times. We'll just make three colors. We're gonna make this one like a red reflection. Go to for now. Maybe about five, six, and about five and thirty. And um, that's about it. I'll just copy that. Make this one like a blue. Copy that. Make this one. Let's see. Uh, maybe like an orange. Okay, so now we're just gonna apply these materials to the spheres. And there we go. Um, the bowl we're gonna make just we'll make this uh kind of a reflective dark color. Reflection for now. Just gonna make it about there. I'm gonna drag it onto the bowl. And uh the floor we'll just leave that as is. And um let's see. What can we do next? Um we're gonna do we're gonna get a uh a plane. We're gonna click R and rotate that uh ninety degrees. See if I can do that. There we go. Just gonna raise that up a bit. Okay. And we're gonna get uh, a light. And and the type we're gonna do uh, area. And we're just gonna drag that up. We're gonna go to rotation. And just make it um, parallel to the plane. Drag it out a little bit. We're just gonna make it sort of fit the size of the plane here. So, sort of like this. And, uh, I'd, I'd say that's about good enough. And, um, we're gonna make a new material, and, uh, we're just gonna check luminance. You can uncheck, oops, check luminance, uncheck color and specular because you don't need them. And, uh, the brightness, I think, can stay at 100, and we might change it if we need to. And just apply that to the plane. And now we're gonna select the light and the plane. And just, um, press Alt G. So it's grouped, and we're gonna just rotate that 90 degrees. 90 degrees. And we're just gonna put that uh, over the sphere, where the our scene here basically just says like an overhead softbox. And um, next thing we can do, we can uh, go into render settings, effect, global illumination. Um, irradiance cache, just change that to low. We can kind of render that out and see what it looks like. And, uh, right now there are no shadows, so we're going to go on the, uh, go into the null, go on the light, and go uh, shadow, shadow map soft. And we're just going to render that, see what that looks like. So that's uh, that's looking pretty good. You can also do uh, ambient occlusion, but you kind of want to stay away from those sort of things because it makes the um, render time last longer. Um, I'll just do that to show you what it looks like. You can leave all the settings the way they are. See, it takes a lot longer to render, so you don't really want to use, um, especially global illumination. You really want to avoid using that for animations because it causes some flickering and it just takes a, a long time. But uh, as you see, it's looking pretty nice. You got some uh, graininess here, so you can go into the redder settings, ambient occlusion, just turn the accuracy up to maybe about 70, and that should make it go away. See if that does. That looks better. Um. Um, that's pretty much it. If you have any uh, questions about the tutorial or um, maybe a request for a future tutorial, please let me know in the comments box. And um, uh, that's it. Um, please like the video. Um, see you.